Hey peeps, I'm Wild Fairplay, and I am so excited to hang out with you guys today while we play another episode of My Time at Portia. So, we were working on this commission. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so if we retrieve that, we should be able to go turn this in and get a new commission. We've got mail. We'll check it when we come back. Holy moly, guys. I do not feel well. Um, I was feeling kind of out of it at work today. And then this morning... Oh, it's Sunday. I don't even have to rush. This mo or not this morning. When I got home at 8, I started feeling kind of crappy. And so I went and laid down for a little while. And then I started feeling better, so I decided to jump in the shower. And, um, we are not doing that one. We're not doing that one. Maybe? You know, I don't think we're gonna do any today. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I'm all like, oh, my face is all warm. I don't think I'm feverish yet. Um, Sometimes I get that way where I feel really hot. Um, but anyways, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I hope I'm not getting sick because I don't really have the time to be sick right now. But we found something useful in the data disk. Four days. Okay. Well, in the meantime, we're going to keep working on what we were working on. Starting with. Okay, wait. Uh, we're gonna make another civil furnace. We need more marble. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. I also wanna go back in the mine, but um, I don't know, this might be kind of a chill episode where I'm not feeling very well. I probably shouldn't even be recording, but I was just like, I'm trying to get these videos recorded so that I can just take a break. Um, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, not that I don't love doing YouTube. I do. I, I very much love it, but I just have a lot of pressure on me right now and it's it'll just be nice to have like one less thing to worry about. And I mean, it's not like I can't record while I'm on break if I want to. It's not the recording that's stressful so much um as like the editing and getting it uploaded and getting everything worked out but i think i'll enjoy taking a break from recording too i think i kind of need that to just play games for me for a little while but it's funny because like this game i bought and i was like well i might play it on the channel in the future and then i was playing it i was like man i want to play this on the channel so bad so i decided to add it to the roster but I'm cutting seven days to die um, from the roster while I'm gone because we only started one episode. And I'm just not feeling it and where I'm kind of just like trying to push myself to get enough content out while I'm gone. I'm just not even, it's not worth it. And I don't even really know if it's something I want on the channel. I'm, I'm really going to take this time off too to kind of take a step back away from the channel so that when I come back, I can really evaluate, especially like, oh, there's so much stuff going on with YouTube right now. And I have a lot of decisions on like, it's the, okay, the channel, just, just in case people get worried, the channel's not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Not permanently anyways. Um, but I really, I really want to think about what life or what YouTube looks like for me because I, I honestly it's not just YouTube it's like I said what life is gonna look like for me um because I'm I didn't really I kind of touched on this in the channel update and this has kind of come out like while I'm on break resting up and so if you guys comment on this like uh if I don't respond it's just because I'm probably just ignoring YouTube Okay, well, apparently I can't do that rock, so whatever. Um, but, 
You know, I'm just kind of tired of the rigmarole and like, my, I'm just tired of my life going nowhere. And um, nowhere quickly. And, and what I mean by nowhere quickly is that like it really is, like I'm getting older <laughs> and time is just going by so fast and I just have so little to show for my life. And I know that sounds really morose and um, I don't mean it that way. Like I, I really mean, this is meant to be kind of a positive observation, which is gonna sound weird, but it just, there's so many things I want. Like I'm living in a small town in Montana and don't get me wrong, I love Montana, I love I do love it, but it's just, it's not a good fit for me right now in my life. Like, I need to be able to hang out with people that are interested in the same things. Like, I want more culture where I'm, like, not necessarily, like, because Montana has a lot of culture, don't get me wrong. But it's the same culture I grew up with, and I want, I want something a little bit different. Um, I want something that... I don't really know how to, to properly explain this, but I'm, I'm an, okay, I guess the best way to say it would be to say, I'm a nerd, like wholeheartedly, I am a nerd. And I love being a nerd. Okay, I'm actually gonna go to the mine. Use up, well, we really don't have a lot of stamina left, it's probably not even worth it. Let's just chop down a few more trees. But anyways, yeah. So I'm totally a nerd. I, I love video games. I love nerding out about things like that. Um, and on top of that, like I'm a YouTube, I'm a YouTuber. Like whether I do this professionally or not, that that's what I am. Like I do, I do this. I've been doing this for two years now. And like, I guess the thing that really made it stark to me was I've been wanting to start a vlog channel for a really long time. Now this brought two things to my attention. When I actually like sat down to think about how it, that would work, I was like, well, I don't have a lot going on in my life because for two reasons. Reason number one, I'm broke and can't afford to go do things. Reason number two, I live in an area where you can't really do things for cheap. Like really what the, we, we have a movie theater and we have bars. That's what we have. We have a coffee place and I do go to coffee uh, most days and I don't always spend money there. Um, but like, that's, it's not open in the evenings and it's not really like, bands come and play maybe once every other month at the bars and they're the same, like one of the bars has like a rotation of bands that it brings in. Um, we have the rodeo, like we have a couple events, big events in the summer, but like there's really not much going on here. And for somebody like me with the type of personality I have and the interests I have, like I want more in my life and, and so when I thought about doing the vlog, I was like, well, I don't do anything, so a vlog wouldn't be interesting. But then I was like, okay, well, maybe I can just, like, vlog a week at a time and just, like, cut together a piece of my week. I definitely do, like, a few things throughout the week that might be interesting. No, I really don't. And on top of that, I'm trying to think. Yeah, we can wait that hour. Um, so we can start the bronze. Let's go talk to somebody. We'll go talk to our neighbor. Anyways, um, on top of that, like, there's, like, I don't feel comfortable in the town I live in r whipping out my, my phone or, cam you know, camera, whatever. Phone initially, camera eventually. Here, let's. No, come back. Okay, they came back in. Come here, little chicken. No, stop opening. Being a good neighbor. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I chased it in. Um. Oh, hi, Codex. My cat says hi. Okay. Uh, I think that probably killed enough time. It's completely pointless. But anyways, um, I'm getting a little distracted, focusing too much on what I'm saying, and I'm really tired. Like, I'm gonna go to bed after this. I probably shouldn't even record it. Q Q. Q Q. Come here, buddy. Q Q. Hello, guy. Glue, glue. Do I have anything that you would like? My cat is like purring like crazy. Oh, but he's gonna unplug my headset if he's not careful. All right. Um, 
I am done being distracted. Grab that. Did I make any other bronze plates? No, but I will take that bronze. How many do I need? Five. Anyways, yeah. Um, like the culture around here, it just wouldn't, like, it just doesn't fit to, like, do that stuff. Whereas, like, somewhere like, we'll use California for instance because that's one of the main places I'm looking at potentially moving. California, we're just going to call it a night. Um, that's, like, especially LA, that's totally, like, normal. But even, like, well, even Bozeman, Billings, those two big cities. Like, Missoula is the only city in Montana that I think, um... I could potentially feel a little bit more comfortable doing that. This is a little bit more liberal. There's a little bit more... I, I, yeah, I feel like that would be... Oh, crap. That sucks. Okay, well, before we go into the mine... I'm gonna refuel those. And then we're gonna just go spend the day mining. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, that kind of brought to my stark attention. As y'all know, we currently don't have an active barber shop in town. Ever since San Sanwa was mocked for his colorblindness during that haircutting competition by the judges and competitors like he never recovered. I thought time would heal everything, but I must say I'm wrong in this case. After a recent talk, I found that he's as depressed as ever. I love that he just like announces that somebody's depressed to the whole town. <laughs> Um, as we don't have another barber in town to pick up the slack, I hope someone can help San will gain back his confidence. In time like these, we need to stand up and help each other, and I really don't want Gus cutting my hair anymore. From Mayor Gale. Yeah, that's totally a small town thing. Um, living in a small town, I will say, like, you know way more about people than you necessarily want to. I'm gonna chat with her for a second. Um... But anyways, yeah, I, so, I, I don't know, it's just, like, brought to my attention. And this was kind of, like, a couple weeks ago that I was thinking this, that, like, and when you couple that with my frustration with my financial situation and my, like, work situation, like, there's no jobs in Montana. I know that there, like, there's a lack of jobs generally in the United States right now, like, in, in a lot of, especially rural areas, like, it's not just... It's not just me. Like, I'm not trying to be like, woe is me, the rest of you have it all good. I know, like, a lot of people are struggling, and that's my general frustration. But anyway, so it'll be nice to take a few weeks off, like a month, month and a half off, maybe even two months off. You might see a little bit of a gap in content. Besides the week that I'm recording this, I decided just to not try to overdo it and just focus on getting these recorded and edited. Um... But yeah, there might be a little bit of a gap because I might take decide I want extra time off. But it's really so I can focus on school. Um, finding a second job so I can have a little bit more financial freedom. As well as... Oh, there's a light right in front of me. As well as um, take some time to really think through like my decisions. So, a couple things I've done. I don't know if any of this interests you guys, but since we're kind of doing just grindy stuff today, I thought, I'd, you know, chit-chatting would be fun. But one of the things I'm doing is, um, you know, working on taking, like, any internship or, like, work-related experience I can get to work towards. In fact, I'm trying to figure out a way to fit something into my job at the, um, at the library, but I just don't see any way of doing it. And plus, it's kind of nice to have that, like, one separation from the IT stuff. You know, it's kind of just that job. I just, I go and I don't, I mean, I care, obviously. I go and I, I do my job, but my job is very easy um, for what I do there anyways. Um, I just, I just go to work and when I leave work, I'm done. You don't have to bring it home with me. I don't have to be, like super emotionally invested and I don't want that to sound like I like I'm not doing my job or I'm not like invested in my job I am but it's just like, like at a minimal level because I a that's the type of job it is um and that's why I mean that's what I was looking for and that's what I'm still looking for for a second job is something that I'm not super emotionally invested um and you know be like that 
that investment or the energy and stuff is going towards going towards more important things um like getting my education um or fine tuning i guess would be a better term but yeah i'm just kind of i'm ready for a change i'm ready to not have to stress about finances like i literally don't know i have one more day of gas left in my car and then and after that i don't know how i'm gonna get to work and that's how it's been every week like i've been lucky to have like checks come in right at the same time right at the right time or had people like lend me 10 bucks right a couple days before my paycheck comes like it's it's stressful like i don't i don't like that so sorry this is totally a downer episode i, I do not mean it to be i'm not trying to just like complain i'm just trying to give you guys a little bit more context of like what I'm thinking and um and like why I'm really needing a break and evaluate the one nice thing though oh I'm out of stamina is the fact that my schooling I can do as quickly as I'm capable of doing so I'm trying to technically it should take me like three and a half four years to finish um, but I'm trying to do it in at least half the time, if not more. Now, it's not too, that sounds really daunting, but, um, the pace is not really meant for somebody who has the background that I already have in this stuff. And, um, the other part of that is, so apparently I cannot focus and talk at the same time. It is that time of night. So yeah, the other part of that is, I don't think I can fit, but I can, oh. Nope. We'll just put it there. All right, what do we need to be crafting with that? Let's grab the rest of our ores. Okay, never mind, because that is the rest of our ores. I think what I'm gonna do. Oh, you know what? Let's look. Let's look in here. We need pretty much mostly copper, a little bit of bronze. Well, hold on. Six bronze per, five copper per. So we need about nearly equal. How many? Okay, you know what? We're gonna start with bronze in both of these because it will cook them faster. Um, so six times five is 36. And we have 17 plus 25. Okay, that's way more than enough. Oh yeah, we'll have enough. So what I'll do is I'll put copper in here, and then when that's done, actually, we're gonna just cancel that. Okay, that should be good. Now, what else do we need to work on? We need more logs. This is going to be so worth it, guys. Okay, so we need five glass. And we'll get to that later once all of the metal's done. Six cloth per means we need 36 cloth. So how much cloth do we have at the moment? None. No, 12. I'm like, what? I'm so confused. Okay, so that's what we'll probably work on is getting the wood to make the wooden planks and getting the materials to make the cloth. I feel like that is a good way to oops, prioritize. Now, of course, I'm missing something very important. Look, we got another couch and a clock. Okay, so we still need two more engines. The other thing that we need to be working towards 
is this. So we're gonna need more bronze and more copper, which is fine. We'll probably go back, you know what, let's... Yeah, we're just gonna go to sleep. We're gonna have some shorter days, which is fine. Which is fine. We'll just have a slightly longer episode, which is funny, because this is where I'm like, I am tired, I need to go to bed, but I'm going to record a long episode. Eh, I still got like seven minutes until I'm really supposed to be in bed anyway. And then I'll read for a little bit, or watch YouTube. Holy moly, I'm tired. Okay. Fuel depleted. I feel like we should spend... I can't remember what day we went into the mine. We need more wood. Well, no. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We'll get a tiny bit more wood to refuel that. And then we're gonna go in the mine. We're not worrying about commissions right now because um, we d we're not desperate for money at the moment. And trust me, this will bring in the money and it will give us, it'll be worth it to kind of ignore them for a little bit. Okay, oops, wrong one. So I just want to keep these going while I'm in the mine. Okay, back to the mine we go. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to the mine we go. Except for I forgot to do something really important and that doesn't work, but that's all. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna have like a lounge seating area over here. Brilliant, it's a weird little lounge. It's okay though, cause we can put a clock up there. All right, that increased our stamina a little bit, which is why I wanted to do that before we went into the mine. Also, I love that I just jump over all the fences instead of going through. I mean, I don't even like go through the gate. There's one thing I do like about this. It, it's got like areas that are definitely like sectioned off. Like the town is separate from everything else, but you can still like get around. Like it's not like in Skyrim where the town is its like own separate loading screen area. Hi, Remington. Okay, um, let's finish up this bronze, or bronze, copper. Come on. And then we'll move to a new area and look for more uh, things. I just don't want to leave any of this copper when it's such a, an easy source. And we're going to need more. We're gonna need all the copper. And don't worry guys, we won't always be in the mine. We're gonna have... We're gonna do something else here soon. There will become, there will come to be a bit of a variety. Okay, so let's go over here and look for some balls of light. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Um, I'm gonna go for that one. I feel like this is a, was a good starting one. So it was an eyeglass, not what I was hoping for. Apparently it wasn't a very good starting one either because I can't find any other ones. Let's try again. Is that close? Yeah, that's close to where the other one was. Why didn't that show up on our radar? I'm so confused, guys. Galloping horse piece. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get few and far between. We can reset the mine. You pay 20 gold to do it. But I think we still have quite a few little balls of light that we can find. 
We just gotta move around a little bit. Okay. No cigar. No cigar. Okay, come on. Go up. The jetpack's a little... Eh. Sometimes. I don't know why I look up. I don't think there's ever been one that was up from the floor here. Like, yeah, once you dig down, we might have to reset. I am not. Seeing anything. Let's try over here. Aha! Alas, I have found you, great balls of fire. Light, fire, whatever. Oh, anyways. Yeah, so this was kind of a deep episode where I talked about really sort of intense things. Not too intense. It's all good. Like, all of that realization and all of that, I think, are good things. So, so don't hear me complain. Don't hear me like... I mean, I'm whining a little bit. I, I, I will openly admit to that. I am very frustrated with my life, but I also own to like some of the mistakes I made. Um, some of those I now know were the result of my mental health. Um, but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't mean I'm not responsible for changing my own situation. And I'm, I'm very lucky that I've got, you know, opportunities that... Some people don't have. Um, like, being able to go into technology, like, the fact that I have a natural affinity for it is a huge bo huge boon. And, um, and I am very much aware of that. And also the fact that, you know, the pastor at the local church that I attend on occasion is also a, a you know, a tech guy. Like, he is kind of a techie, not trekkie but tech like oriented person and so i was able to go and ask him for an internship like i've essentially created my own internship well i mean he's he he's come up with the the stuff but um it was just by virtue of me going and being like hey i need to fill out my my resume on this can you please like can i come intern because it's gonna be harder to convince somebody to pay me. But then an, an internship came up in the town, one over from the town that I moved to. And I'm really frustrated because it's supposed to be full time. But I think I'm going to apply to it anyways. Because you never know. Like you never, you never know. There's a chance that they might be willing to work with me. Okay, so we need... Since I can't do the wood yet, I'm going to make the five bronze plates so we have those. Because we kind of want to get all this done at the same time. And we shouldn't need any more bronze plates after that. And so I think next episode, how are we doing on ore? Uh, not great. And we still obviously need to find... But I think we might call that quits for the mine for a little while. And focus instead. I mean, we still do need to get two more engines. And I'm aware of that fact. However, it might be the wisest thing for us to do might be to spend a couple days just chopping down trees because oh and killing things because so we need hardwood planks which will be the next thing that we put on the thing we also need a bunch of wooden boards we're gonna need 20 wooden boards so that is a lot so 120 so 130 wood there plus a bunch of plus 50 hardwood, because we have to make two of those. 
Plus we need more bricks. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of slog. We might start taking commissions again now that we've got the bulk of stuff done. But the problem is, is when we do commissions, it takes away from the materials and the machines. Um, from Oh, you know what else we can do? Three copper pipes. We need six copper pipes. Let's get those going, and then we're going to end the episode, because I've gone long. And I need to not. Okay, so six. All right, well, we've got a lot of parts going. The The key really is to get as much going at night as we can. So when we wake up in the morning, as much is done as possible. On that note, guys, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Sorry for the kind of, like, dreary talk. Hope it wasn't too bad. Um, just uh, something that's been on my mind. And uh, as always, stay awesome. I'm going to go back out here because I need a screenshot. And I will see you guys, uh, oh, like, subscribe, and all that, and I will see you guys next time on my time at Porsche. And he might need a new ending, because that is, I want, like, the saw behind my head. <laughs> oh, look at that. Except for the bronze thing is in the way. They're gonna add, um, a screenshot thing in here, which is gonna be awesome. On that note, I will see you guys later.